Today, on Gabriel's Discovery Kingdom, we're searching for water, but wait till you see what's on the way. So grab the edge of your seat, because that's all you're going to need during Gabriel's Discovery Kingdom. I'm scared. Long list salamanders, poisonous caterpillars, and much more on today's adventure. On today's adventure, I'm going to be taking my sister Isabel and my cousin Carissa on my adventure. Before we head out, let's pray for safety. Dear Only Father, I pray that we have a safe trip out to wherever we're going today. And I pray that you that we don't get in any danger. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hiking is such a great activity. It gets you plenty of fresh air, plenty of sunshine, and it gets you closer to nature. There are some things that you need to know to keep you as safe as possible when you go hiking. When you're hiking, especially uphill, try not to step on any rocks or lo loose logs, or you might do that. <laughs> Sturdy hiking shoes that protect your ankle are perfect for hiking, and will limit your chances of a broken or sprained ankle. You'll find these guys quite often in the uh, under logs and rocks, and especially rotten logs because that's where their favorite food is, termites. These guys are perfect for digging in the dirt because and slithering through it because they have such slender bodies and small arms and uh, almost like a shovel-shaped nose. Believe it or not, this little guy does not have any lungs. He breathes through his skin and tissues lining his mouth. About two dozen species of woodland salamanders, including some with a range of only a few square miles, inhabit moist woodlands from coast to coast. Though usually slow moving, they can rise on their legs and run rapidly through the forest. The redback salamander is a jumper. It leaps along by slapping its tail against the ground. Most species exude a white fluid that is distasteful to predators. Here we go, searching high and low for more wildlife to investigate. When you're out in the woods, turn over some rocks. You never know what you're gonna find. Many insects live under rocks. This provides a cool, damp environment and shelter which they need. Oh, look what we have here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the remnants of a squirrel's lunch. You can see how he chewed. How he chewed right here. Right here, how he chewed. And Rodents actually have to keep chewing or else their teeth will grow longer and longer and eventually grow out of their mouth because rodents' teeth never stop growing. That's why they have to chew all the time. Very interesting. Nuts like this constitute the majority of a squirrel's diet. When you're out in nature, don't overlook neat things like this knot, or these thorns that we had to wrestle through. Okay, let's check under this rock. Okay. Oh. Here's another redback salamander we found. Salamanders can live up to 32 years, but the average lives up to 10 years. Redback salamanders make up an important food source for a wide variety of snakes, birds, and mammals. 
They have the ability to drop all or part of their tail if under attack from a predator, and can grow a new one afterwards. Look at that. Ew, is that red salamander? The tail that grows back is often lighter in color than the original. It's another salamander. Here, Carissa. Here, hold out your hand. Are you sure? I'm sure. They don't bite. Kinda of cute, isn't he? Yeah. That's a cute one. Mm. Look at that. It's like a um, uh, centipede of some sort. <laughs> so what do you girls think about this hike we're on? I really want to find some deers. Uh -huh. Not that though. Yeah, not, not that. Not that. You know, not close to the deer that the deer poo that we found down there. Hmm? <sighs> what did you say? I just want to find a lake. Oh. Yeah, a lake would be very interesting. Cameraman has an inchworm on him. These caterpillars are poisonous. If you touch it, their hairs will get into your skin, irritate it, and cause a rash. There's a daddy long leg on you! Daddy Longleg, also known as Harvestmen. They're actually not spiders because they don't have two se section of bodies. Oh, I... There, Carissa. It's off of you. That was creepy! A good way to, if you're looking for a water source, a good way to find a water source is to follow game trails like this one that we're on right now. So come on, follow me. Wait, wait, wait! Ew! Guys, come here! Oh, oh look at that. Looks like that looks like fresh bear dung. Or feces. Looks like I don't want to you. In between a bear and its meal. I'm gonna get my whip ready. All right, let's let's go, guys. Careful. Keep your eyes peeled. Now that we know there's bear here, we want to let them know that we're here, and we want to be loud. And that's exactly the purpose of this whip. Be loud. Me too! Be How do you feel about the possibility of a bear here? Scared! How do you feel about the possibility of a bear here? Scared and excited. Oh, 
I found the trail. Hey girls, come on. Trail. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> Nervous. So what do you think we're going to find here? Hopefully and hopefully not a bear. I know we're protected with the whip, but I still, uh, I'm not sure what to think. <laughs> I'm scared. Which way do we go? Hey, look, there's a lake. Hey. Cool. Let's go over. With the sighting of Scat a few minutes ago, and this water source, a threat of bear is a very real concern for us. I think I might see some bear footprints. You got your whip. Don't you? Zach, are those bare footprints? Yeah. The water here, it's a, it's a good source of water for any animals that might be living around here. And uh, if we came here in the, in the spring, we might, you might see tons of animals around here at once eat, just drinking. There are three things all animals need to survive. Food, shelter, and water. Walking through the grass, now the reality sets in with all these game trails and resting areas. Look. How do we get to each other? There's water right there! Well, we did it. We set out to find water, found it, and had a really exciting adventure on the way. We didn't see a bear today, but that just shows you how important these safety tips are. Remember, when you're looking for water, just follow the trails. See you next time on Gabriel's Discovery Kingdom. I'm going to show you how to keep you and others safe on the trail. If you see a dead tree like this one beside me, beside tr a trail, you might not want it to fall on some of your friends or somebody because that wouldn't be fun. So what you do is you just give it a shove. Never mind.
That's how we roll. Let's go. <laughs>